There are five gospel colours. Gold or yellow, black, red, white and green. Now let's start from the beginning. Gold or yellow. Gold or yellow symbolises heaven. From the beginning, when God made man, God desired that man will live with him eternally in heaven. God created us and He wants to have a relationship with us that is forever. Black Black reminds us of sin. Because of our sins, we have been separated from God. And sin refers to anything we think, say or do that does not please God. For example, lying, cheating, stealing. The Word of God says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And Romans chapter 6, verse 23 tells us, that the result of sin is eternal death. When red reminds us of the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus has the power to wash away all our sins. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. And three days later, Jesus rose from the dead, where Jesus conquered death. And if you believe in Jesus, if you acknowledge that you have sinned against God and ask Him to forgive you, you will not die but have eternal life. And this brings us to the fourth color, white. Now, white represents purity. In Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, it says, Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, and though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. And only the blood of Jesus Christ can wash away our sins. And if we choose to receive Jesus into our hearts, His blood will cleanse us from all our sins and make us white as snow. Green and green represents growth. It is the color of trees growing. Now Jesus is alive and He wants to have a growing relationship with us that is forever. And we can grow in our relationship with God by praying, reading the Bible and going to church. And if you are ready today, I would like to invite you to receive Jesus into your life. Would you like to?